Fans on Tyne's side have been waiting with bated breath for updates on a potential bid after Ashley revealed to Sky News he was in advance talks to sell Newcastle. The sports direct tycoon has previously tried to sell the Magpies three times during his 11-year reign, but he may now be ending his tenure as Newcastle United owner. Kenyon is the businessman heading up a U.S. consortium which has plans to buy the Northeast outfit. And in a letter obtained by the Newcastle Chronicle, the businessman reaches out to insist he is still committed to concluding a deal in the early stages of 2019. I know I speak for both of us in that we continue to share a serious determination to finalize the agreement we have to suit both parties as soon as possible in the new year," the letter reads. We have both spent many months discussing the parameters of a final deal and as you know we have also invested heavily in time and money on our various legal and financial advisors. And I appreciate the time and effort committed to the detailed discussions by your advisors, lawyers, club, and, of course, yourself. I fully respect your desire to ensure the next owners of Newcastle United understand the club, football, and have the appropriate financial resources, and I am delighted that you think the investor group led by myself is the best fit. On my side, I would like to personally assure you that I am committed to conclude our deal as soon as possible and, while we are both perhaps frustrated that we have not progressed as quickly as we would have wished, I would like to express personal gratitude for your patience and integrity in this matter and hope we can continue our discussions in the same spirit. Kenyon has top flight experience due to his time at both Chelsea and Manchester United back in the day. Former Newcastle defender Steve Howey whipped fans into a frenzy with his comments in December, claiming he had been told a takeover update before the team faced Manchester United earlier this week. I don't think I've upset the supporters. I did say on Twitter I don't apologize for what I did because I thought it was genuine," Poe said. It was meant in the right way. The information given to me was given in the same way. People will have a different opinion. And there has been some people on Twitter who have certainly got a different opinion about it, but that's their opinion. My opinion was that I got information and decided to share it, whether it was right or whether it was wrong or whether it was naive or not. But I don't regret it. I just felt it was information the fans should know 